Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and this is the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or TLDR for short, your daily dose of tech news, gadget views, and answers that you can use. The Locker Gnome Daily Report is brought to you by GoToMeeting with HD Faces, the powerfully simple way to meet online from anywhere. With GoToMeeting, you share the same screen, making it easier to be on the same page, all while seeing each other in HD video. You can easily launch or join a meeting using your computer, phone, or tablet, even present from your iPad. Uh, you saw the GoToMeeting demonstration when I had a conversation with Matt. Matthew the other day talking about my vlogging tips and tricks and you should try GoToMeeting for yourself. It's really easy. Head over to GoToMeeting.com, click the try it free button and use the promo code Perillo. According to a survey commissioned by MKM Partners, 83% of Americans have no idea that the BlackBerry 10 has launched. I unboxed this puppy live on YouTube. Haven't had a chance to really give you my initial impressions, but that video will be coming up at some point this week. I didn't think it was possible for one company to do worse in the mobile space than Microsoft, but it seems to be true. Go ahead, ask your non-geek friends if they know anything about this new device. It's a Blackberry, all right. Well, at least 17% of America knows about it. Now, oh, how many of them care? Competition's always good, but unless we have choices that seem to make the other choices less palatable, well, we really don't need additional choices. And if you're looking for choices of icons, you may want to pick up the Ultimate Icon Bundle, especially if you're a designer of software, websites, applications. Don't just download icons that you don't have the rights to use. Pick up a package. We can save you 73% on this bundle, which usually costs 150 bucks. See, here's the thing. If you make something and intend on making money with that something, you kind of have to pay for the things that go into that something, usually. Otherwise, you could get some takedown notices and that could be even more costly. This promotion ends in five days through deals.lockernome.com and as always, you can earn $10 for sharing that link. I used to be addicted to icons back in the day. In fact, some of the first email newsletters that I sent out with the Locker Gnome title featured icons that people could download to their computer and use. At LockerGnome.net, Luke S. has asked, what's the best camcorder for under 150 bucks? I used to be in love with Creative's Vado, and I know so many people out there are still using flip cameras, not flip phones. There's absolutely a difference. Flip was the name of the company. Uh, you know, ultimately, you can get last generation cameras at a lower price compared to current generation cameras and still do very well. I've said it before, and I'm not the one who coined the phrase, the best camera is the one you have on you. In fact, I still wouldn't mind recording a 720p video on my Creative Vado. I still have them too. If you've been subscribed for a while, you might remember that the first HD videos we recorded in this very channel were actually recorded on those pocket camcorders, which were very affordable even back in the day. So I can only imagine how much money you can save on them now. And again, you probably don't have to look too much further than what you already have in your pocket. And while I realize my next recommendation is a little outside Luke's budget, we've begun to recommend at LockerGnome.com the Canon HF M50, which weighs in at about 469 bucks. But it's a good camera. I wanted to record more video with a DSLR, it's just that those DSLRs really weren't built for video recording. I'm happy with my tried and true vlogging cam created by go.tagjag.com slash hdhat. You can meet them at Vlogger Fair. You know, I should probably come up with a name for this thing, even though it's already on its second body, and the lens is incredibly dented because I keep dropping the sucker. What should I name my vlogging camera? Do you have any ideas? Do you name your cameras? There are so many Android phones out there. A new one gets released seemingly every week. And if you're not sure which Android device is right for you, I got something for you. No, you can't have any of mine, but you can download a free guide. These are the droids you're looking for, an Android guide, for free. Oh, and it doesn't cost you anything because it's free, complimentary. The link to where you can download it is in the video's description, which you usually ignore. Don't lie to me. It's called TLDR, not TLDC. You know, too long didn't click. I'm someone who happens to love his job because my career is being myself. Not everybody could be so lucky. I get hired all the time to do things like speaking engagements. If you caught that in the Perillo vlog that I had uploaded this week, I was out to Pittsburgh and that was a lot of fun. I even asked you in the vlog, do you want me to upload that presentation that I would have to do separately because it was two hours, even though it wasn't really geared towards geeks, but more of people who aren't geeks who are trying to figure out how to make technology work for them. And I love talking about that stuff. So if you have a job that sucks and you're looking to quit, be sure to do it the right way. We've got a guide on how to quit your job with class. Step number one, don't tweet about it. Here's the thing, you may be disgruntled, you may hate the company you're working for, but think about all those other companies you might work for, they're gonna go back and look into your tweet stream and 
Do you think you would be hired if you said nasty things about a former employer, even if they are nasty? I mean, the employer. Another thing you might want to consider is making sure the next person or your team understands exactly what needs to be done and what you've been doing, if you've been doing anything at all. And as always, I'd advise you to keep that door open. Don't burn bridges. You never know when you're going to want to turn back. Because as much as your current company might suck, the next company might suck more. There's not a day that goes by when I don't consider getting a traditional job. But then I think, nah. I love life. I've been happy to inspire a whole bunch of people in developing a career around their own personality disorders. Whether I mean to or not, I inspire a lot of people to create careers around themselves. In my case, it's around a series of personality disorders. I just can't stop talking! Figured I could at least make money with it. OS 10.10.8.4 code confirms that new Macs are incoming with super fast 802.11 AC gigabit wireless support. This likely indicates that Apple's prepping a refresh of all their devices that have networking chips inside, which is just about all of them. I tell you one thing, the day they release a new airport is the day I upgrade. I love those things. CBS is joining Fox in considering a subscription only model. It may just be a matter of time before all television networks, or at least traditional networks, go with a subscription only model. I like the idea, but I'm also kind of afraid of it. I could be nickeled and dimed to death. If I could access a library of all the content that network has ever produced, I, I might consider it. I can tell you it beats paying for channels that I don't want to watch. <laughs> Sports! <laughs> T-Mobile USA sweetens iPhone 5 deal with a trade-in program. When they start selling the iPhone 5 on Friday, you can get a discount for trading in your iPhone 4 or 4S. That's a pretty solid offer, and believe you me, I'm considering the switch. And here's why. Diana and I are on a shared plan, and it works for the most part, except for months where we happen to be traveling. We are megabytes away from going over and then being charged for the overage, even though it probably won't be that much over. So we've decided to turn off our data for the last two days. Not in defiance, but out of... Why do wireless carriers do this to us? Seriously, you have no idea how miffed I am. And you know I'm miffed when I use the word miffed. I just want to use the device and not think about it. And I had unlimited data, as did Diana. But this company decided to say, No, we can save you more money by bundling things together. <laughs> I want to go back to unlimited so badly. I don't want to even think about it. Unfortunately, I can't. I don't know. Maybe T-Mobile's an option for me. But all those fees! I mean, can we ever get to a day where we just don't have to worry about how much bandwidth we're using no matter WHERE we're using it? I love the talk about the future of distribution of information and the internet getting bigger and bigger and faster and faster, but we're just feel we're being overcharged for it! I don't mind paying. I don't. I pay for things all the time. It's not about freeloading. It's just about being able to use what I want to pay for. Oh, I know, it's just a few more dollars if I happen to go over. I can upgrade to another plan. Why? No, seriously, why? And trust me, I have paid this company more than enough over time. Miffed. Miffed, I tell ya. And you know what? For all those years of drop calls, I, I think we're kind of entitled to something better than what they're giving us now. Okay, I've calmed down long enough to give you our question of the day. Sponsored currently by GoDaddy.com, although they may not be a sponsor for much longer. You can use coupon codes that I can email you, chris at perillo.com, and if enough of you do take advantage of those coupon codes, they'll continue to support the things that we are doing for you. Cordy had a few questions about Apple TV. One, he says, I'm planning to buy an Apple TV. When I purchase a movie, where does it get stored? In my personal iCloud account? Two, what's new in the hardware upgrade of 2013 Apple TV and why didn't Apple mention it? Because it was just an internal hardware revision that really didn't make much of a difference. Is there a new Apple TV box coming soon? Should I wait? We don't know. Nobody knows except for Apple. Is it inevitable? Yes. How long will you have to wait? I don't know. But I can tell you this, I don't even have an Apple TV that supports 1080p content. All of my Apple TVs, oh wait, I guess I only have two. Well, I guess that's all of my... The Apple TVs that I have now are only capable of pushing out 720p content. You know what? That's fine by me. I happen to think the Apple TV is indispensable, especially if you have another iOS device. If you've never tried AirPlay, you're missing out. And it's only like 99 bucks. Think about all the time that you could be spending with something that you really, really want just because you're waiting. Think about all those times in life when you held yourself back from being happy about something, thinking that something better may come along. Well, it may be newer, but newer isn't always better. 
This arrived in the mail today from Fox L, a personal audiophile loudspeaker. It's a wireless Bluetooth speaker with wireless stereo and hands-free mic. Wired.com says the bass response seems to defy physics. CNET gave it four stars. Rolling Stone said, we could not believe the sound that came out of these tiny speakers. Chris Perillo says, thanks for sending this along. It has a linear magnetic drive twofer and can keep a charge for up to 12 hours. Enough talking about it. Let's see what it looks like. Ta-da! It's definitely got some heft to it, but lightweight for what it is. There's the audio hole, the power hole. That's right, I call them holes. I'm a Seinfeld fan. And it charges by way of mini USB. It's designed to sit on a flat surface, or you could use the included wrist strap to carry it around with you. Hope you don't want to miss this phone call for you, Chris. But if you do, I understand, because I know you're a busy man. Maybe it's just your scheme to answer the phone on a live stream. Call for a really fine fellow, Chris Perillo, get your phone. It's a call for a really fine fellow, Chris Perillo, get your phone. That's bassy. I hope I sound good to you, and if so, thanks again for liking and sharing the content we're creating for you every single day because we couldn't do this without you. I wouldn't want to do this without you. So, you know, stick around, subscribe, come back, follow me. I'll, I'll let you, really. We'll see you later.